Having a blast with Minecraft Dungeons? Can't get enough of that hack and slash loot 'em up dungeon crawler? Well, I got a few things you can do in between missions that'll make that time you spend at your camp just as fulfilling. Next on The New. What's up, everyone? I'm Prince, and today's show, we're going to get into some things that you can do at your camp between missions that's going to help make most missions more efficient. Now, I provide tips and tricks for new and casual gamers. So if you want to get better with playing with friends, boy or girlfriend, or even just your kids, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're in the right spot. So this is going to be everything you can do at your base camp in between missions that's going to help you out, guys. Number one is the blacksmith. Now, you unlock him after you complete the creeper woods. He trades emeralds for random gear, so this gear is going to help you in your battles in those dungeons. Number two is the wandering trader. You unlock him after you complete the pumpkin patch. He trades random artifacts for emeralds, and those artifacts will help you in your battles in those dungeons. Now, these two you might have known already, but for more of the newer people who have just started the game, this will help them out a little bit. Next is Mission Select. Now, this is where you find your missions to progress with the game. So this is where you're going to pick where to go and in what succession to defeat the game. Number four, you got the training dummies there. Now, you use these to see how much damage your weapons can do so you can choose the most effective one. So what you want to do is get those things from the blacksmith and the wandering trader. And you want to put the combinations together and try them out on these dummies to see which one deals the most damage and works the best for you in those dungeons. Next is going to be your home. So north of the training dummies is your house, where as you progress throughout the game, your house increases with items. So you can go there and just check it out. It's right north of the training dummies. Every time you complete a mission, somewhere in your camp, there's going to be a chest that will appear with emeralds. It's about 50 emeralds, I think, and it appears in random spots. So this gives you a reason to explore between missions. So after each mission, you want to go around, try to see if you get those 50 emeralds, and you can use that to spend with the wandering trader or the blacksmith to upgrade your items. Now, if you head south, then there's a drawbridge. Now, you can't use it till you beat the story, and that's supposed to be a secret mission you can unlock when you uh, lower down the drawbridge. So make sure you guys beat the game on default level, and then go back and check the drawbridge and see what the secret mission is. Now, I'll also be dropping a video about that secret mission, so don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a bonus as well. Now, once you've beaten the story, a nether portal pops up, and people familiar with Minecraft know about these things. Now, it pops up in the northeast corner right past your home. So it's allegedly going to be an unlocked DLC thing. So when they drop the DLC, this is where you want to go and try to recover it at. So these are a few things you can do at your base camp between missions that's going to make your dungeon crawling a little bit more efficient. Now I also make funny gaming videos. So if you ever want a good laugh and want to escape from life for a few minutes, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. So if you want more tips and tricks, you can hit up the end screen videos. Love and light to y'all. And I'm going to catch you next time on the new. You try to get this drill, you gon' turn around and drown. You try to get this drill, you gon' turn around and drown. You try to get this drill, you gon' turn around and drown. You try to get this drill.